So uh, we're going to start a new year, and uh, you're going to pray for us, uh, Jara. Okay. Um, okay, let's bow down and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thanks for the blessing you gave us for the last year and keep us from all the illness. And we also pray for the coming year. Hope that you give us more blessing as well, which open our eyes and our ears so that we can listen to tonight's Bible study and May your Holy Spirit also fill up with the speaker so that you can bless him with all your words. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. So today, today is uh, January 7, 2022, a Friday. And um, we're going to study, um, you know, using the uh, Torah portions again, you know, uh, we've been doing it uh, since last years, um, you know, about years ago. And um, so uh, this uh, Saturday, you know, their Sabbath, uh, they study this um, in the part of Exodus, and uh, starting from chapter one, uh, 10, chapter 10, uh, to chapter 13. And also, they're going to read from the uh, prophet uh, Jeremiah, uh, chapter 46. And uh, so uh, we, we might actually uh, study some part of the Jeremiah as well. And uh, we'll see uh, how the, what the Holy Spirit did us. Uh, so, uh, you know, this uh, Exodus chapter 10, uh, verse 1 is, um, you know, they use the, the title is the go, go you know, as, a, as go in or go out or go, you know, go where, wherever, go in, you know. And uh, so, you know, this, this uh, word type, you know, go is, um, you know, in the verse 1 or chapter 10. So I'm going to, um, uh, let's see, let's go over the summary and then uh, we'll uh, have uh, Jara read for us the, the first portion of the, um, of the uh, Torah portion that they, they, they're going to read. Um, chapter 10, you know, it's uh, covering the, uh, uh, the eighth, the ninth uh, plague. You know, there were 10 plagues uh, before Pharaoh let them go. Uh, you know, that's to start the nation of uh, Israel. And uh, all 12 tribes uh, left uh, Israel, I mean, uh, Egypt, you know, they were slaves, you know, for, uh, you know, uh, they stayed there, you know, for a total of 400 some years. And uh, now, you know, uh, they were, uh, you know, in slavery. And uh, so, you know, uh, the law sent Moses to, to, uh, take them out to liberate them, you know. And so uh, this uh, chapter 10 is uh, talking about two, two of the plagues. And then 11 and 12, you know, talk about the final, the final plague, which is the uh, killing of all the firstborn. And uh, so, you know, uh, we, we're going to get into that. And, um, uh, and then Jeremiah, you know, they have uh, uh, two particular words, you know, that uh, the, um, the uh, you know, the, uh, the Jewish Christian that set up this uh, website, you know, they, they mentioned, you know, it's uh, both of them is in uh, chapter 46 of Jeremiah. So uh, we, we might st study that a little bit. So, um, I'm going to ask uh, Gerard to read for us the first verse, the first verse of the uh, chapter 10. And the Lord said unto Moses, Go in unto Pharaoh, for I have hardened his heart and the heart of his servants, that I might show these my signs before him. Okay, so uh, so uh, this uh, this word uh, go in, you know, 
is uh is the title of the Torah portion that uh, they would use. They would do that uh, every year, you know, reading from the same portion. You know, they they don't read all the verses and chapters of the uh, scripture. They just uh, select a, a few of them, uh, you know, to cover the whole year. You know, so they have uh, uh, about 54 portions. That, that's good for, you know, 52 weeks in a year and then some, you know, so... So uh, that is, uh, you know, kind of like that. You know. Now, uh, you know, having, you know, just, uh, you know, we, uh, we, uh, we can uh, ponder for a moment, you know, because uh, there were already seven, there were already seven plaques uh, before chapter 10. And uh, they, they were all, you know, scary and grievous, you know, and a uh, very um, powerful plex, you know, that, uh, you know, is, uh, is kind of like the COVID, you know, that we had uh, for uh, last two years, you know, almost two years, not quite. But, uh, and, uh, and so, uh, you know, if you think about that, you know, on one side is Pharaoh, who's the, uh, uh, you, know, uh, you know, the uh, ruler of uh, Egypt, which is the superpower, the superpower. And then, and then on the other side is the invincible God, you know, and then, you know, Moses claimed, you know, well, you know, the Lord sent me, the Lord sent me. And uh, so, you know, uh, it is, uh, it's not an easy job for Moses. Uh, in fact, obviously, you know, for the last seven uh, plagues, uh, the Pharaoh did not, but, uh, you know, did not uh, yield, you know, the, he, 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 he just felt that, you know, um, there's, even though, uh, those are powerful plaques, you know, they, they, you know, Pharaoh did not submit, you know, so, uh, so this is the eighth time, right? Eighth time, you know, that, uh, the Lord said, go in, go in, you know, so, um, you know, it really required, you know, uh, some, you know, uh, uh, faith, you know, on the part of Moses, you know, to, to, uh, to, you know, uh, and then, you know, he did explain that, you know, I have hardened his heart, you know, that the law hardened Pharaoh's heart. In the beginning, uh, the law did not say that. In the beginning, you know, it's um, just the Pharaoh hardened his own heart, you know, he, he you know, but, but in the last a uh, few times, you know, that, um, you know, he actually, the law actually say that, you know, I have hardened his heart. And it is as if, you know, a lot of times, you know, uh, people, um, they heard about some, some things, you know, about the Lord. And, uh, but they just, at the beginning, you know, it's uh, just on their own, they, they choose not to believe. But then, you know, after a while, you know, then, um, uh, then it's different, you know, because uh, if uh, if uh, people keep on saying no to the law, you know, the law would uh, would actually honor their free choice, and then you know harden their heart, you know. So uh, that is not good, you know, when that happens, you know, because you know he, they they are fighting the law, you know. Now this is not just about the uh, unbelieving people; it's not just about the world. Even though the Pharaoh is um, kind of the leader of the world, you know, uh, but it is also about, you know, even, uh, you know, some uh, Christians, some believers, you know, that are uh, uh, already born again, that are, you know, supposed to, you know, have law, you know, the Lord Jesus, you know, as the, um, you know, the law of, you know, of his heart. But then, you know, a lot of times, you know, people because of the 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 world, you know, uh, influence the religious uh, influence also. You know, a lot of time, you know, people believe more in the church or believe more in the teaching of the church rather than look unto the law. You know, I mean, there's a difference. I mean, you know, clear example is uh, in the Old Testament. Uh, the, um, all the religious uh, 
you know, uh, community. You know, the, uh, the, the all 12 tribes, you know, the, the end of the kingdom of the Lofton kingdom, Israel, and the Southern kingdom, Judah, they also have hardened their heart. You understand? I mean, they are religious. They, they, they say they believe in the law, you know, the same law that we believe in, except they only believe, you know, in the uh, limited uh, Old Testaments. But then near the end, at the end, what happened? What happened is uh, the Lofton Kingdom were destroyed by a secular country, a secular empire uh, called, uh, you know, uh, Assyria, right? And, and then the, the Southern Kingdom, Judah, were also destroyed by Babylon, which is a secular country. So a lot of time, you know, people, you know, somehow think, you know, if uh, they believe to, you know, they believe the law and then somehow they have automatic protections uh, from the, you know, from, from the rest of the world. No, it's not true. It's not true because when they are not believing the law, you know, they are believing in their own religious country or believe, believe they only believe in their own church you know that they, they're not focusing you know they, they're not placing their faith in the law that's a trouble but anyway so in this case Moses uh, was told to go in to see the Pharaoh again you know the eighth time <laughs> okay So to understand that situation, I'm going to ask Gerard to read some part of chapter nine. <laughs> chapter nine, because uh, even though this is before the Torah portion, uh, but as I point out, you know, the Torah portion that were chosen by the rabbis, you know, long time ago, a lot of times they, they because uh, they are not relying on Holy Spirit, a lot of times they cut out a certain part, you know, and um, so they're not connecting, you know, uh, the reasoning why you know so chapter nine I'm going to ask you a to read for us chapter nine and the, and the Lord said unto Moses rise up early in the morning and stand before Pharaoh and say unto him thus saith the Lord God of the Hebrews let my people go that they may serve me for I will at this time send all my prayers upon thine heart and upon thine servants and upon thy people that thou may know that there is none like me in all the earth. For now, I will stretch out my hand that I may smite, smite thee and thine people with pestilence and thou shalt be cut off from the earth. And in very deed, for this cause have I raised thee up for to show in thee my power, and that my name may be declared throughout all the earth. As yet exhaled thou thyself against my people, that thou wilt not let them go. Behold you, Moral about this time, I will cause it to rain a very grievous hail, such as heart not been in Egypt since the foundation thereof, even until now. Mm, thank you, thank you, Gerard. So, uh, it, it seems like as if, uh, you know, uh, you know the uh, the from the first one to the seven plaque, uh, they were you know very physical, physical. Uh, in other words, you know they they you know they they have, you know uh, obviously uh, you know the 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 Nile become red like blood red you know and and or you know certain uh, you know animals or certain things happens you know. And uh, it caused them convenience, uh, inconvenience, you know, like 
the, the flock would invade their palace, you know, and things like that. Uh, but they're all physical, you know. But, you know, if you look at this, you know, the pack, uh, you know, uh, have a certain purpose. The plague would uh, be upon, you know, the receiver's heart and their people, servants and, uh, and their people, you know, because this, you know, Pharaoh is the ruler of the Egypt, you know, the king of Egypt. And so uh, the, 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 the plague have a certain um, results. It's, it's not, uh, uh, you know, there are physical things like, you know, it will cause uh, people to die or, or inconvenience or, or really bother them but also their heart. In other words, you know, plan is not uh, uh, just physical, actually. It's also the fear, the mental, you know, you know, the inside, you know, because, you know, otherwise, you know, how, how would they, uh, you know, know that this is from God, you know? And, and uh, so, you know, and, and um, verse 15 also said, you know, and, uh, you know, this, uh, can cause people to to get sick or die, you know, and and, and so you know, uh, I I hate to say that you know the COVID, uh, the last two years is um, is is like a plan. I mean, there's no question, you know. I I know you know the news media, you know, they don't care about the religion, and they they ignore the fact that it, it you know, because uh, they they say they don't believe in God. Uh, a lot of them they try not to, even as Christians. Uh, you know, they, they say they are believer of Jesus Christ, but, you know, when they are working out there in the world and uh, they try to look politically correct and uh, they, so they, they, you know, no one would ever say, oh, this is, you know, from the spiritual, you know, there is a, there's a judgment, you know, and, uh, you know, that, you know, because uh, now having said that, uh, but in the religious uh, 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 community, they have the same problem. They have the same problem, even though, um, you know, they say they believe in Jesus Christ, but a lot of time, you know, they, they, they you know, subconsciously, they, they, they try not to, you know, um, examine it uh, that way, you know. You know, most of the churches, you know, they just say, well, you know, deal with it, you know, or, you know, uh, uh, we are against the, uh, 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 the, uh, the vaccine or we are for the vaccine, you know, and so on. Now, uh, but in any case, you know, the, uh, the, uh, the one in uh, the, uh, the seven plaque was uh, very bad. The reason is, uh, is they're not talking about the, the kind of hell, you know, that uh, you read in the newspaper or on the TV. Uh, it, it could be like, a big ice trunk, you know, like a, a good size, like a, uh, maybe like a car or like a, like, a, like a bed, you know, because it talk about anyone in the open field, whether it's uh, servants or animals, they will be killed. So, so that's why, you know, uh, in verse 18, he said, behold, tomorrow about this time, <laughs> about this time so it's uh, sometime in the morning but um you know about this time so it's not uh, like seven o'clock i think you know because uh, moses have to uh, go to the palace you know and then you know uh, uh, you know tell tell um, tell uh, you know the uh, pharaoh so so tomorrow about these times and then so this is uh pretty bad but you know he, he won pharaoh so that he can you know, give a warning, give a warning to uh, people that they will take all the animals inside a building or a shelter or maybe a, a cave. Uh, but, you know, there obviously are a lot of servants or a lot of people and, um, and their animals did not do it. And then they all kill. So it is very bad. You know, it is literally like a plaque, you know, except, uh, you know, it happened. Or in, or in um, just a moment, you know, the, when the plaque come down, I mean, uh, when the hell come down, 
you know, it's not just a win window shield, you know, uh, I'm telling you, you know, because uh, it said, you know, all the people in the open field and all the animals in the open field, they all die. Yeah, so, so, so that was the seven. That was the seven. But then, but then, you know, in, uh, uh, I mean, in the eighth one, you know, which is the, the chapter 10, it's, uh, it's, uh, this, I'm telling you, you know, this is not, uh, not uh, going to be easy. Now, but going back, you know, uh, we, we are studying uh, the goal, you know, you know, the word goal, you know, because uh, that's the title of the Torah portion. Now, and then I find out in other verses of the Bible, uh, the, the word go is same as come. Hmm. Come. Go and come is the same word. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I'm going to ask, uh, uh, you know, if Wing is available, uh, I'm going to ask Wing to read for us uh, the uh, <laughs> verse 6, I mean, uh, chapter 6, verse 13. Say it again. Uh, you know, down below. 6.13? Yes. Okay. Yeah, my uh, computer has some issues, so sometimes I... I hear you, but I, the computer won't respond. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for explaining. He's acting up lately. Yeah. Okay. And God said unto Noah, the end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Hmm. Okay. So, so come and go in the uh, in the Old Testament uh, Hebrew, it's the same word. But, you know, in translation, of course, uh, you know, the, the translator try, try to figure out, uh, well, what was the difference between God and man? Well, the reason is uh, for, for God, he's everywhere. So when you say go and come, you know, uh, uh, you know there's no vector. You know such uh, such a things, but for man, you know, man is always situated uh, at uh, just one location. Uh, you know, represented by a pawn. You know that uh, you're 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 standing there, or you are uh, sitting inside a house. You know, so uh, you you can only be in one place. You know, but but for God or for for the spiritual world, you know, uh, come and go. You know, don't make sense. Except you know, it's uh, just like you know, just, you know, go, go there, you know, or, or there, he, you know, he, you know, for God, you know, he actually is uh, at the both place at the same time, you know, in other words, God is in America, but God is also in Singapore, you know, and, and, you know, and, and the spirit is all over the world, you know, the Holy Spirit, uh, by the way, you know, um, um, I, I don't think I'm boasting, you know, because I'm boasting in the law. You know, last uh, Friday, you know, in the um, New Year Eve Bible study, um, some of the stuff, I'm not saying all the stuff, but some of the stuff were, you know, kind of similar or identical with uh, the Joseph Prince uh, Sunday sermons last week. So we presented in the New Year's Eve on Friday, and then they pre you know he presented it you know kind of like one day later. <laughs> so so I you know I think uh, I think uh, Joseph Prince already put that on on the YouTube also. But you know I I'm I was really amazed you know because why because the Holy Spirit is is everywhere. Holy Spirit is everywhere, right? You know, so he's in Singapore as well as in, um, in America here. And so, you know, I, I, and I'm, you know, I'm not boasting for myself. You know, I'm saying, wow, Holy Spirit, you are so wonderful. Because the Holy Spirit that inspired me, you know, also inspired Joseph Prince, you know. Um, and, and then, uh, you know, to be honest, you know, I, 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 um, you know, I nowadays, you know, I use uh, very little time to prepare, you know, in other words, um, you know, uh, most of my, you know, preparation is like a, in a day or two. And so, you know, it's, uh, it's really from the Holy Spirit. It's not really, you know, so we're thankful that, you know, the 
you know, we're seeing more and more, you know, that the Lord is blessing us and blessing everyone. You know. But anyway, so come and go uh, in the spirit world or in the spiritual sense, you know, because uh, our, our God is a spirit. And, and so, you know, the, if you, you, you know, you need to understand, you know, that uh, it's, it's not like, you know, he's limited uh, in one place and one time. He is uh, Lord over time and space. He created time and space, you know. So the time-space continuum is created by our Lord, you know. <laughs> yeah, so, so, you know, the, the, the um, you know, the come and go, you know, and then last, last week, you know, we talked about the see and this uh, appearance. The appearing and see is the same word. You know? So, um, so uh, you know, there's a lot of things, you know, that uh, we can it really, you know, if you understand it, it, uh, it helps your faith, you know, to have, to understand, you know, the, you know, the Bible is God's word. You know? I'm going to give you a, another example. And, uh, you know, uh, another example is uh, Genesis uh, 7, 1. Uh, Jura, can you read for us? And the Lord said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house un into the ark. For thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. Okay, okay. So, you know, as I said, you know, the... So the um, the concordance, you know, the strong is a very good uh, reference book, uh, you know, dictionary or concordance, and uh, but you know, the you know, all they can do is the, to point out, point that out, you know, and then you have to exercise in faith, you know. Wow, you know, the, the Bible, you know, have um, have a lot of things, you know, that's a uh, peculiar, you know, it's a. Uh, you know, it's beyond, you know, the um, rational mind, you know, and, and so, you know, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the word, even the words have, uh, you know, different layers of meaning. So, as I said, you know, last week, uh, we talked about see and appear, and it's the same word, and then come and go is the same word in, uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the Old Testament Hebrews. So, uh, yeah, you know, um, yeah, this is a, a copy of from the uh, a Torah portion that um, the Jewish Christians uh, they put on on their website. So I just copy it for your benefit. You know, if um, but we're not going to talk about it much about it. You know, and and so uh, we have gone over the summary uh, already. And uh, so now I said uh, I'm going to talk about Jeremiah today, chapter forty six. Uh, so uh, we have uh, uh, two verses of the uh, ch chapter 46 of uh, Jeremiah. So I'm going to ask um, Wayne to read for us. Okay. Just the highlight yellow, right? Yellow yes. highlighted? Yes, okay. correct, yes. The word that the Lord <clears throat> speak to Jeremiah, the prophet now Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, should come and smite the land of Egypt. But fear not thou, O my servant of, uh, O my servant Jacob, and <clears throat> be not dismayed, O Israel. For behold, I will sa save thee from after, uh, far off, and thy seed from the land of their captivity, and Jacob shall return and be in rest and at ease. And nothing shall make him afraid. Mm -hmm. Okay, now uh, this too is uh, kind of very interesting uh, uh, words that uh, the the um, you know the um, Hebrew Christians uh, quoted you know and put it on the their portion. Um, first of all, uh, we already know you know the uh, the prophet Jeremiah was one of the well you know. A, a last day prophet for the kingdom of Judah. Uh, at that time, the Lofton kingdom is already gone. You know, they, they were, 
you know, destroy, and then uh, all, all the, um, uh, the people were taken to be in captivity by Assyrian, you know, in the, all over, you know, all over Middle East, you know, and so forth. And, uh, but, you know, the, Jeremiah have um, prophesied uh, to the kingdom of Judah near the end and say, well, you, you guys, um, uh, you know, are, are done. You know, uh, the kingdom of Judah, are, you know, is done. And so, you know, basically the, the scroll, the Jeremiah scroll is uh, basically talking about his uh, encounter with um, the people and the leaders and the king. Uh, you know, uh, because uh, he, you know, he is serving the law, not serving the kingdom. You know, he's serving, you know, the law. And so, you know, he, he was, he was warning them and telling them uh, the Babylon is coming and the Babylon will, will destroy the kingdom of Judah. And uh, the best course of action is to uh, sur surrender, surrender to Babylon and not to fight it or not to run away from it. And, uh, but, you know, all, all these uh, kingdom of Judah people uh, really hate him. You know, they, they, they see Jeremiah as a traitor, you know, because, you know, it's even though the, the, the Babylonian uh, army is coming, but, you know, to, to, to say that kind of things, you know, to, to, to be, uh, so, you know, tell them to, you know, submit to Babylon. And, uh, you know, that's the will of the Lord, you know, it's, um, it's, um, it's, um, uh, it seems like it's a, it's a, you know, uh, betraying, you know, it's uh, uh, the kingdom of Judah. You know, it's it's uh, it's uh, like Hong Kong, you know. Uh, but you know, that's what Jeremiah was told by the Lord, and so you know, he served the Lord. You know, uh, it, it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, difficult to accept uh, that you know his prophecy, but you know, he he did it, and so as a result, the uh, the the people, uh, I mean. Um, the uh, leaders, the priests, particularly the priests, but uh, even the king, you know, cannot accept him that much. And, and so as a result, he went into the uh, jail for a long time. And then alongside with him, alongside with him, uh, the, uh, the also the, the, there's a secretary, you know, uh, we're going to read about uh, his, uh, his um, life. Uh, you know, uh, there's a one that is writing the scroll, you know, when Jeremiah prolongs it in, uh, you know, by his mouth, then uh, the, the scribes of Baruch uh, would be writing it down on the scroll and then uh, allows it to the people and uh, <laughs> to the priests, uh, the leaders, and uh, they hear it, you know, and then, and then, and then uh, they were told to uh, present it to the king and then the king would uh, uh, take the scroll and then burn it, cut, cut it into pieces and then burn it. Uh, and then so the Lord told Jeremiah and, and, and his uh, secretary to, to uh, write another one, identical, but uh, with additional stuff, you know, boy, you know, that's really tough, you know, they're, they're, those are popular, really tough guys, you know. But, but uh, you know, they, they, they were doing uh, these kind of jobs and then they, they were not appreciated. You know, most of the people resent that kind of um, profit, you know, the, you know, negative you know it's, it's like us you know we we talk about you know what the bible say and uh, people don't like don't like the outcome you know they don't like what the god's word said so they what what do they do you know they would call you a false prophet <laughs> it's a it's a it's like that you know like uh, you know so so jeremiah is kind of like the end time for 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 his uh, generations but anyway, Jeremiah in 46 also, uh, you know, prophesied that, you know, not only finish uh, uh, kingdom of Judah, but also the Babylon, the same king, would, uh, would go and, you know, uh, smite the land of Egypt. So, so there's a prophecy, you know, even though that did not happen yet, of course. And uh, of course, uh, late, later on, uh, at the end, you know, Jeremiah was, uh, after the, um, 
the kingdom of Judah was uh, destroyed. And then some of the remnant, you know, uh, took Jeremiah and then they went to Egypt, you know, thinking maybe uh, they can rely on the super country, uh, Egypt, you know, because uh, Egypt is a superpower too, you know. And, uh, but, you know, uh, this prophecy is saying, well, you know, even superpower is, uh, is not uh, beyond uh, the reach of the, uh, the judgment. Yeah. Uh, so Jeremiah chapter 46, verse 13 is like this. Uh, now, uh, 27 is also kind of interesting. Uh, it, it said, you know, fear not, you know, Jacob, and fear, do not be dismayed, O Israel. Now, Jacob and Israel is uh, kind of talking about the same nation. And because Jacob and Israel was uh, was the name for uh, the same man, you know, the, the progenitor of uh, Israel. So, you know, you know, it's uh, talking about the, the whole church, you know, the, the uh, Judah, the, 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 the kingdom, you know, uh, or the, you know, the Jewish people at that time. Now, but for behold, fear not, for behold, I will save thee from afar off and thy seed from the land of their captivity. Now, this did not happen yet. They were not in captivity. You know, the Israel, yes. You know, the Israel, the, uh, the Lofton kingdom were, but the kingdom of Judah was not captured yet. And number one, number two, uh, the Lord did not tell them, fear not, I, I will, you know, get you out from captivity. He said, thy seed, you know, so in other words, the, the, you know, thy seed means, uh, you know, from, you know, uh, the, the descendants, the descendants. When did that happen? Well, spiritually, it's, uh, it's uh, the time of Jesus, you know, thy seed, you know, is represent you know, the, you know, the, the Jesus that come out from their, from their tribes and, uh, and then, uh, you know, uh, save them and then get them out from captivity. But physically, that can only mean um, like the end time, you know, because, uh, you know, obviously right now, you know, most of the Jewish people is not Christian yet. And, uh, but, you know, this is a promise of God that um, at the end, at the very last end, that uh, there are descendants of the uh, of, of Israel that would become come back to the uh, the you know faith in the Lord. You know when when the Lord descended uh, from heavens. You know, so so this promise is not for that generation. This promise is for the future. It's a prophecy also. Okay. Now, um, um, but you know, if uh, you just read about this prophecy about you know somebody else, um, you know, doesn't seem uh, too much uh, impact. I'm going to share with you uh, that they did not read this, but I'm going to have you read this. This is the chapter 45. You know, 46 is about somebody else, you know, situation, but 45 is uh, about, you know, that secretary of uh, Jeremiah, uh, secretary of Jeremiah. So uh, this is um, only five verses. <laughs> it's uh, one of the shorter chapter of Jeremiah, only five verses. And uh, this is uh, actually a slightly like SMS from God and the Lord uh, to the secretary Baruch. So I'm going to ask uh, Gerard for us. The word that Jeremiah the prophet spoke unto Baruch, the son of Nara, when he had written these words in a book at the mouth of Jeremiah, in the fourth year of Jeho Jehoiakim, the son of Joshua, king of Judah, saying, Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, unto thee, O Baraj, thou didst say, Wow, is me who needs me now? For the Lord had added grief to my sorrow. I fainted in my sighting, and my, and I find no rest. 
Thus shalt thou say unto him, The Lord saith thus, Behold that which I have built, will I break down, and that which I have planted, I will pluck up even this whole land. And seek thou great things for thyself, seek them not, for behold, I will bring evil upon all flesh, saith the Lord. But thy life will I give unto thee for a prayer in all places, whither thou go. <laughs> Very interesting. Now, you know, on, on chapter 46, you know, those are the, uh, like the judgment, um, you know, judgment here and there, you know, like for Egypt, you know, for, um, you know, uh, the future of, you know, of the many generation of the, you know, Jewish people and so forth. But in chapter 45, the, you know, the law only want to talk to just one guy, you know, and then it's also written as one chapter, you know, five verses to Barut, you know, the, uh, the guy that, were you know doing all the writing for the prophet you know so Paul, the Jeremiah was the prophet and Baruch is the the guy that was a scribe you know he's writing things into the scroll you know and so that he can pronounce it you know to 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 the people of uh, you know of that generations and then even to to uh, uh, go up to the palace and and then you know said that set the law you know <laughs> but now but look, uh, you know um you know uh, whether he say it out loud or not you know um you know the law actually heard what Baruch said to himself you know verse three you know thou did say what well, is me now for the law had added grief to my sorrow i fainted in my sighing and i find no rest yeah you know, it's, it was a very difficult time for not just Jeremiah, it's also Baruch, Baruch you know, because Baruch, uh, yes, he's, he was serving the Lord, but he is seeing the, the whole country going down in the drain, you know. So, so you know, he, he is so sad, you know, he's sorrowful, he has grief, you know, he's sighing, and then he couldn't rest, you know. And, and, you know, the law recognized that, you know, the law, you know, law deal with us one-to-one. -one. The law want you to bless us every day. The law, you know, is not uh, dealing with, uh, with you through the church. A lot of people miss the understanding, you know, that uh, the law is like, you know, is a corporate, you know, in the Old Testament, a lot of time, you know, people see God as a corporate God, you know, like, you know, um, you, 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 you cannot go to his office, you know, and um, uh, you have to, you, you, you have to stay far away, you know, then, you know, it, um, it, it's, it's not like that at all, because the Lord heard what, what is in our heart, you know, the Lord, the Lord is, uh, uh, you know, uh, even though he's God of Israel or God of the world, but you know, he he uh, actually want to help each one of us. You know, because the Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is not our shepherd. You know, well he, he is, but but you know he in in God's word. You know, he's saying you know he he is one on one with us. You know, it's not like you know it's um you know we are we are you know a, a citizens of a really big kingdom, and then uh, you know. He doesn't know our name. He know our name. The Lord knows uh, Baruch's name. <laughs> By the way, Baruch means uh, bless. It's uh, sim similar to the wood word like Barak, you know, Barak Obama, you know, Barak, you know, means uh, bless. And then the son of Levi, the son of Levi is Lamb of Yah, you know, like Hallelujah, you know. And uh, so we say praise the Lord, you know, and uh, because Yah is a, uh, is the first son of Yahweh. Yahweh is Yehovah, and then Yahweh. So the, the first son, the first part is, is sort of like Samuel. 
you know, people uh, with the name Samuel, you you some you know you can you can call him Sam, you know people know you know so Yah is also means the Lord you know like Yahweh you know, but anyway Larry Yah you know so <sighs> so uh, so his name you know all these uh, Bible name uh, have uh, some uh, meaning if you understand <laughs> it, but going back in other words you you can see the Lord care about what is in your heart. The Lord wants to bless you every day. The Lord wants to bless you every day. The Lord is with you. The Lord is with you. That's why the Bible said, the Lord is with you. Who can be against you? You know, when you know that the Lord is with you, then all the troubles is uh, put in place, you know, every day, you know. And, and, and so, you know, the Lord really care about, you know, you know uh, guard your heart from fear. You know, this is it, you know, this you know, the Lord really wants to bless you. Now, but the chapter, I mean, the verse four is really something. You know, he told Jeremiah to tell about Ruth, thou shalt, shall thou say unto him, to Baruch, the Lord said thus, behold, that which I have built, will I break down, and that which I have planted, I will pluck up even this whole land. Now, is that scary or is that good? Mm. Well, uh, first of all, it's the truth. Okay? Because everything that you see in this physical world, that everything you touch, like the table, the computer, uh, you know, the whole city, the whole, your, your house, everything you see um, is all physical. But one of these days, it it be, it be gone. The, the only thing is left is the spirit. You know, you have the spirit. Now, because you have, uh, you know, believe in Jesus Christ, your spirit is now quickened. Your spirit is now alive. You know, the spirit of the uh, sinful people, you know, were dead. You know, when you were born, uh, your, your spirit was dead, you know, to the time that uh, you believe in Jesus Christ. And then when you accepted the law by your mouth, with your heart, the Holy Spirit come into your heart, come into you, and then it's uh, quicken your spirit. So in other words, now you have Holy Spirit living in you, you know, because don't you know the body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So in other words, every belief is, you know, you might not feel it, but, you know, according to God's word, you know, this is God's word, you know, means uh, God's truth, you know, that the Holy Spirit is in every Christian's body. Okay. So, you know, because, because of our faith in Jesus Christ, however, however weak or little, we have Holy Spirit in us. Okay. So that would never die. But, but even this heavens and earth will one day be gone because, you know, the law already talked about the new heavens and new earth, something Sunday, new heaven and new earth. So in other words, this earth or this solar system or this galaxy or this universe, you know, one day, you know, will be gone. You know, it's uh, it's going to be new heaven and new earth. So, so in other words, you know, um, when he said, "Behold," you know, everything that he built, you know, uh, you know, he he will break down. Everything that he planted. Not not talking about the spirit now. You know the the you know because uh, man's body, or you know this all thing, you know, is made from earth, made from dust. All the animals were made from dust, you know, and and uh, you know. So when this uh, earth uh, disappeared, you know, it's all gone. But you know, when we were, you know, uh, uh, when we were uh, uh, transformed, you know, we have an immortal spiritual body. Okay, so so we have the spirit of the Lord, and we have uh, the spirit quickened by the Lord. You know, now. Uh, 
but you know the uh, obviously uh, Barut is um, you know having a trou- a lot of trouble in the heart, so maybe he's planning to run away. You know, he's planning say you know when the Babylon uh, army in way you know I I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. You know, but you know the law told him don't 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 see those things, don't 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 uh, plan on quick you know things, because he will bring evil upon all flesh. Now notice that, you know, these uh, were exactly similar to what the Lord told Noah. He will judge all the flesh. Yeah, so, so you know, this is opposite the spirit. Flesh is opposite the spirit. You know, people are focusing on, you know, trying to do things, trying to, you know, plan on, you know, uh, maybe have, make, make, uh, you know, stockpile guns or uh, stockpile this and that, you know, and uh, plan on, you know, f- fighting all the enemy, you know, don't do that. You know, those are, those are fresh. Those are, you know, action, you know, because, uh, you know, they think that they can fight the world, you know, they can, or they can protect their family, you know, no, uh, sit there and not, don't, don't do that, you know. And, uh, you know, because, uh, you know, we believe in the, we, we belong to the kingdom of the law, you know. So, uh, you know, this is spiritual, you know, we, we look unto the law, you know. Uh, now, the promise is to, by road is, but thy life will I give unto thee for a play in all places where you go. Now, this is, uh, you know, not simple. But if you think about it, you know, because what the law said, to Barut is uh, this is talking about the eternal. I will give unto thee for a play. Yeah, this word play actually is um, like um, you know the um, you know that uh, things that you would gather, things that you would gather after your victory in a war. You know, Jin Evan. So you know you you would get the spoil. You know. That uh, you know, spoil is like multiply. You know, you know, blessing. You know, uh, 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 you know. So, so this, thy life will I give unto thee for a prey in all places. All places, you know, is on earth and also in eternal life. You know, all places, all places. You know, where wherever you go. In other words, you know, talking about the spirit. You know, and um, you know, it's not. Don't, so you don't, you know, that just tell Barut, uh, don't worry, just let go, let go, you know. So anyway, to, uh, you know, uh, uh, oh, I have to say this. Uh, well, maybe later on, maybe later on, uh, I'm going to say this, uh, but, you know, God, keep going, you know. And uh, so, as I said, you know, uh, uh, the pharaohs originally was based on his free agency. You know, he hardened his heart against God. But, you know, but in, since uh, uh, chapter 7, you know, there, there are four times, you know, that the law, you know, hardened pharaoh's heart. You know, in other words, after a while, you say no, 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 you know, you don't believe in healing, you don't believe in miracles because, you know, they hang around with the... Uh, you know, the church teaching, you know, people believe in the church or believe in uh, a denominations, a religious teaching. And then uh, after a while, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, it's just like the Pharisees. The Pharisees, um, after a while, the Pharisees even uh, say Jesus' uh, healing is from the devil. You know, when that happened, they actually is, is uh, uh, committed the unpardonable sin, you know, because, well, I mean, maybe they're safe, but, you know, they are, they, you know, they might die early because, um, you know, uh, because uh, they reject, you know, the, 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 the gift of the Holy Spirit. They reject, they, are, they, they call those a devil's work. You know, calling somebody a false prophet is, have to be careful because, you know, if you don't know that, you know, uh, you know, when they do that, you know, they, are, they might be rejecting the Holy Spirit work, you know. But anyway, the eighth and the ninth, the eighth is locus. 
and the ninth is darkness, and the tenth is the parcel, you know, the the the, first, the killing of the firstborn. But for us, you know, Jesus is our firstborn. So Jesus is a substitute for us, the Passover. Now, uh, so we're going to go quickly over the eighth and the ninth. Uh, let's see, Wayne, uh, uh, let's see, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the uh, Exodus 7, uh, 10, you know, is uh, talking about locusts, right, locusts. And then I'm going to ask Wayne to read Genesis 3.16. Let me read it. Oh, okay. Yes. Unto the woman he said, I will quickly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so the reason why I asked uh, to read uh, Genesis 3.16, it turned out uh, the... Uh, the locust, the word locust, also have um, a meaning, a metaphorical meaning, is like multiply. It's, it's the same word, you know, locust is, uh, uh, you know, those uh, insects that eat up everything, you know. Uh, it, it, uh, so in chapter 10 of Exodus, the lo when the locusts come, you know, all the uh, tree and all the greens and all the vegetations are all eaten up. But turn out it's the same word as multiply. So, you know, when, uh, you know, Gerard read this, uh, greatly multiply. Greatly multiply is, uh, is uh, actually from the same word, word you know, uh, it's like locust, locust. <laughs> locust, locust. So, so what, what's that mean? That means on the 8th, 9th, and 10th, it's not just physical pestilence. It's not just a physical thing. And it becomes worse and worse. It becomes uh, the uh, physical, yes, uh, locusts actually eating up their, their, all their food. But also multiply. In other words, you know, it's it's kind of like um, you know, uh, the the whole uh, the the mind is going to go all crazy. You know, trouble, sorrow, greatly multiply. You know, so when uh, people when they um, uh, you know, um, despair, the reason why they despair is uh, like their hearts and mind is so so overrun, and uh, so everything seems to be bad. You know. Or everyone is like against him, and uh, uh, you know the, the the whole world is against him, you know. So this multiply is is not a good thing, you know. It's it's like when when you know uh, the locust is actually representing not just the physical uh, uh, damage, but also you know uh, mentally and spiritually, you know that guy is just overwhelmed, overwhelmed, you know. And, um, you know, so as a result, you know, there's a lot of time, you know, people, you know, uh, choose the uh, bad, you know, bad uh, choice, you know, to do uh, evil things, you know, maybe go out and uh, shoot people, you know, something like that, you know. So, so that's um, it's, um, more than just a physical breakdown, but also, um, you know, so this is the number eight. And then the next one, the next one is um, uh, the ninth plan. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to have uh, uh, Gerard read, read that. Yeah. There are three verses. And the Lord said unto Moses, stretch out, stretch out thy hand toward heaven, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, even darkness which may be felt. And Moses stretched forth his hand, toward heaven, and there was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt three days. 
They saw not one another, neither rose and away, neither rose any from his place for three days. But all the children of Israel have light in their dwellings. Mm. Power shortage, network loss, coal shortage, also spiritual. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my kind of layer explanation, you know, the quick look uh, explanation. But so what happened is the darkness is not just um, physical darkness, you know, because uh, if you turn off all the lights, of course it's dark. But, you know, uh, in Egypt, they do have light. They have the, uh, uh, the, the oil lamp and they also... I don't know if they have a candle, you know, but uh, anyway, so it, it's not like they lack um, oil or they lack lamb. Um, you know, they, 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 they um, you know, they are being super country, so, you know, superpower, you know, they of course have, have that. Uh, but uh, this darkness is, can actually be felt. Wow. You know, so, so this darkness is uh, heavy. So they cannot even see, you know, you know, when you, you know, stretch out your hand, you know, they cannot see another person. And so as a result, they, they just, you know, stuck there, you know, for three days. But in the, in the land or ocean, you know, where the children of Israel were, they have light. <laughs> so it, it is a spiritual thing, you know. So this is talking about a spiritual, even though it's physical, but physical can lead to spiritual. Um, it, it's both, you know. So now it's it's uh, very strange, also, you know. Co coincidentally, you know, the why right now, you know, the the world is having um, some kind of problem with power. You know, some uh, sometimes they have uh, blackout, blown out. Uh, lately, they they are more, you know seems like there are more of that, and then they have network loss or. And, and then one of the bigger thing, you know, this, uh, this uh, week is the cold, you know, because uh, uh, apparently in the, uh, in the loft hemisphere, you know, because it's all winter. And uh, so as a result, they, they, uh, they, the Europe uh, is um, having a, a shortage of gas. You know, they, they usually import gas. And uh, in fact, they have a gas line, a new gas line from uh, Russia to Europe. But because of the, uh, you know, Cold War between uh, America and uh, Russia. And so, uh, you know, the Europe is uh, having trouble. And, uh, you know, they, the gas that are from Siberia, that's available. But, you know, uh, it was not, um, you know, they, they could not, uh, you know, get it, you know. So as a result, why right now they're paying three times, uh, three times the regular price of those uh, natural gas, you know in Europe. And then um, also in, uh, uh, in Asia, you know, the, uh, there's, a, there's um, you know, trade war or whatever war, you know, you call it uh, uh, between uh, Australia and China. And so China, uh, you know, refused to buy uh, coal from uh, Australia. And as a result, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, there's a, a, a really uh, heavy, you know, uh, uh, tension, you know, between countries. And then only this month, the Indonesia, Indonesia were selling coal to China, but uh, the government decided uh, they have to stop for one month. This month, no coal to, to, uh, to export. Uh, the reason is uh, because the Indonesia, uh, the, uh, the power plant were running on coal, but uh, apparently the 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 uh, the uh, coal mine, you know, they uh, they they rather sell it to outside world. Uh, they don't want to sell it to the uh, power plants because uh, the, the the price that they set for the power plant is too cheap. Oh, you know, really? No, too cheap. So so they they want to ship it out out you know to China and Japan. But uh, as a result, the government said, hey, you have to sell, sell it, uh, give it to the power plant first, uh, their priority. Otherwise, they, they, they would run, they would black out. The power plant would actually stop, you know, because they have no coal. <laughs> so, 
So I'm just telling you, you know, this uh, whole world, you know, is uh, the darkness is covering uh, the world right now. <laughs> in some way, you know, uh, I'm not kidding up, you know, you, you can look it up on Google. Yeah. Um, but uh, of course, the, the heavy one is the 10th, the 10th flag. The 10th flag, you know. So, um, uh, yes, uh, this is the big, biggie, you know. So uh, I'm going to have Gerard again uh, read for us the chapter 11 you know, for eight verses. Um, okay. And the Lord said unto Moses, Yet will I bring one prayer more upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt. Afterward, he will let you go a hands. When he shall let you go, he shall surely thrust you out hands altogether. Speak now in the ears of the people and you out hands together. Uh, and let every man borrow his neighbor and every woman of her neighbor jewelry of silver and jewelry and jewels of gold. And Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt, in the sight of Pharaoh's servants, in the sight of the people. And Moses said, Thus saith the Lord about midnight, Will I go out into the midst of Egypt, and all the firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die from the firstborn of Pharaoh that sit upon his throne, even unto the firstborn of the maid servant that is behind the mill, and all the firstborn of the beasts. And there shall be a great cry throughout all the land of Egypt, such as there was none like it, nor shall be like it any more. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast, that ye may know how that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and the Israel. And all these thy servants shall come down unto me and bow down themselves unto me, saying, Get thee out and all the people that follow thee. And after that, I will go out. And he went out from Pharaoh in a great anger. <laughs> this is uh, the, the 10th plank, yeah. But, you know, the 10th plank, the, uh, you know, the, um, uh, it's associated with the, not just the judgment, but also with the, uh, uh, the Passover lamb, right? And, and so, uh, actually, it's all about Jesus. In other words, you know, it's destined for all men once to die and then after that judgment. So, you know, all the firstborn have to die. And all the, actually, all the men have to die, but, you know, it's symbolized by the firstborn. Now, but, you know, because Jesus is the firstborn of God, and then, you know, he died for us as the lamb. And then, so as a result, none of the believers of the law will have to die. So it's all picture of Jesus. So I'm going to have um, uh, uh, you, uh, uh, Gerard, again, uh, read the, uh, the, the, the actual Passover uh, uh, passage uh, from 12, uh, chapter 12, verse 1 to 9. And the Lord spoke unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, this month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying in the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man and lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for an house. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the numbers of the souls. Every man, according to his eating, shall make your count for the lamb. 
Your lamp shall be without blemish, a meal of the first year. Ye shall take it out from the sheep, or from the goats, and ye shall keep it up until the fourteenth day of the same month, and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening, and they shall take off the blood and strike it on the two side posts, and on the upper door post of the houses. Wherein they shall eat it, and they shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Eat not of it raw nor sodden at all with water, but roast with the with fire. He said, his head with his legs. And with the pretenders thereof. Mm -hmm. So、um, every part of this、um, story, the Passover lamb, is、uh, actually talking about Jesus.、Um, you know, we might not be able to cover you know all the details, but you know、uh, it's you know they establish you know the law established. Now from here on, the the new year now the religious new year. Started on the first month of the year is to be the Nisan. The Nisan is the Passover month, and then on the tenth of that month, and they shall go out and buy a lamb, get a lamb to the house of their fathers. Okay, so in other words, you know, if you have a house, you know, you are the father of the house, you know, you go out and then find a lamb, and the lamb. Uh, have to be without blemish, and a male of the first year. In other words, is a one year old, is a firstling. You know, is a one year old lamb. You know, it's very beautiful. When it's a one year old, it's a really adorable. You know, it have no blemish. You know, and then so you know, as a result, you know, on the tenth, you know, the father would take that、uh, lamb into the house, and then all the children in the house would.、Uh, Would come to hug hug the lamb, you know, you know, because the lamb is so beautiful, so handsome, you know, and then whoever said the Lord Jesus is not handsome, you know, they, they, they don't know what they're saying, you know, because Jesus, the Lamb of God, have no sin. Do not know sin. There's no sin inside, outside. And then you know he has no he do he did no sin, so he is like the perfect you know man, ah、uh, like you know in the time of Eden, you know there's nothing you know that's that's bad about him, you know he he always you know because he is son of God become man you know but anyway he you know and then on the tenth is the is a turn out is the Palm Sunday. So the Lord Jesus ride a donkey into the Jerusalem to the house of God, you know, and then on the tenth until, you know, he he、uh, he was he died or betrayed,、uh, you know, he go into the house every day to be examined by the priest, that he 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 answer, you know, he pass by exam, you know, people say what's the biggest law. You know, so he he was tested in all you know in all ma manners. So you know he has no blemish. He was well tested. You know,、uh, examined. You know, on on、uh, from the tenth to the fourteenth until he was betrayed. And then so on the fourteenth is the Passover day, and then they you know the lamb was killed, and then they they will consume it.、Um, you know, for the house they will consume it. You know, because it has to be a roasted lamb. You know, because the reason why it's roasted is,、um, you know, you cannot see recognize the lamb anymore because、uh, he he was so beaten, speared, insulted. You know, cut and、um, you know all kind of、uh, torture on 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 the Jesus 
on, on our Lord is like the roasted lamb. And then, you know, we, we you know, they, they have to eat their fresh and then have the blood, you know, to, to be put on, you know, uh, the door. You know, all the, uh, in the ancient time, you know, all the uh, mud house or even the stone house, you know, they, they have to have a piece of lintel on top and then the jam is all wood. And uh, so, you know, they can, they can, you know, spray on the blood on, on, on the, just, just like the blood on, on the cross. You know, the cross is wood, a tree. And the same thing about the doorpost, you know. And uh, so this is all about, it's all about Jesus. And the unleavened bread is also, you know, about Jesus. You know, so every, every little details. Now, so uh, now notice, you know, so on the 10th, this thing happened. And then on the 14th, this, uh, you know, he, he uh, is a slaughter. So the, the 14 or Nisan, the 14 or Nisan, N-I-S-A-N, not, not the Nisan, you know, like, like the car, is uh, just one S, N-I-S-A-N. It's, um, it's a month on the 14th, you know, it's almost full moon. And um, so, so that is the day, you know, that uh, the Passover day. Now, I'm going to share with you something. Uh, uh, you remember when, uh, uh, you know, the Lord talked to Jeremiah? The Lord talked to Jeremiah on 45. And then you remember he said that, that shall thou say to him, the Lord said, behold, at that which I have built, Will I break down and that which I have planted, I will pluck up even the whole land. Now, uh, we already know, uh, talk about that, you know, that uh, in, the, in the future, in the eternal future, there's a new heaven and new earth. So the uh, old earth and the old, old heaven would all folded into a closet, you know, put away. Uh, so, you know, and then all the our body, you know, our body is going to be not uh, from this earth. You know, it's, it's uh, going to be a spiritual, immortal body. Now, so, so you know, everyone, you know, you understand the, the big picture. But you, you, do you know, do you know that, um, uh, you know, that, that was, you know, we, we were just reading about the, uh, the Passover, the first Passover, the first Passover that liberated the children of Israel to become a nation, the nation of Israel. The the uh, the uh, the first day of independence is the Passover, you know, to to establish them as a nation, you know, all twelve tribes become a nation. Now, but at the end time, at the end time of the uh, Judah, uh, you know how uh, when they they will finish. Well, uh, at the end, uh, the Judah on uh, AD 70, uh, the last, the second time that the, 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 the nation of uh, Judah was finished is uh, AD 70. AD 70. And do you know the day that, um, that um, you know, the end of the Jerusalem uh, was finished? Not really. <laughs> it's uh, 14 on this one. 14 on this one. That, uh, that uh, the, the, uh, the Pope Consul, uh, you know, uh, what was the general's name, Titus, was 14 of this one, the Passover day. He started the siege of Jerusalem. You, you understand the meaning? In other words, the, the beginning of the nation was the first Passover in Egypt. But the end of the kingdom of Judah in AD 70, the siege of Jerusalem started on Lezon 14, the same day. Scary, isn't it? <laughs> mm. Because uh, you know, just like the law said, you know, 
whatever he built, he can he can disable, disassemble. You know, a lot of time, you know, the people don't understand it. You know, they they try to hold on to things. You know, they call it heritage, and uh, but those are physical things. They try to keep all kind of physical things, and uh, me included. You know, I'm guilty of that too. You know, try to collect a lot of stuff. You know, the baggage become bigger and bigger. You know, their house become bigger and bigger, right? And and uh, you know, but uh, we are just holding on the uh, physical stuff. You know, but but you know, it's it's like the law said. You know, hey, he he started the nation. The first independent day of the children of Israel is the, the Passover, thirty five hundred years ago. But the um, but the last of that uh, Judah kingdom of Judah, the siege of Jerusalem and the temple was destroyed. On the same, well, you know, I mean, it was destroyed on the ninth or eighth. But uh, the the siege of Jerusalem, the you know the people. Um, all, almost all the uh, devout Jews, you know, they, they have to go to the um, Passover in Jerusalem. And so as a result of that, you know, that 1870, you know, almost um, um, maybe almost a, a million uh, Jews, you know, were, were captured or killed. Uh, you, you understand? You know, I mean, it's a great number, you know, because normally, the uh, the the population of Jerusalem is only maybe less than a uh, uh, hundred thousand, but but because of that festival, that they they want to practice their religion, and then so they get in, and they couldn't get out anymore because uh, the uh, Roman army surrounded them, you know, with uh, all the legions, you know, the fifth legion, the twelfth legion, the the fifteen uh, legion, and and then also the uh, tenth legion, the tenth legion, you know, supposedly the tenth legion destroyed the uh, the, uh, the the temple, you know. So uh, so uh, you know it was uh, you know uh, is uh, so sad. But 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 is the the story of God is uh, for real, you know. People they, people don't pay attention to the little things, but uh, those things uh, were there, you know, to. So that people would know that God of the Bible is for real. You know, it's 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 not like you know you you think you can play with the Ten Commandments and somehow you be blessed. No, you know, uh, you know because uh, I'm going to show you this. Uh, um, uh, I'm going to show you a short slide. I mean a a, a video, um, and uh, and uh, it's talking about the Tenth Legion. We are at Jaffa Gate, uh, Jerusalem. It's the end of March and it's quite dusty and windy. And um, Jerusalem. Then I want you to see one building, uh, which is usually not so touristic area. Then uh, you can see that building, the Imperial Hotel. And there's this kind of um, passage area. Then I wanted to go in, first of all, because it's beautiful. And I want you to look at two things here. The first one is the ceiling. And you can see that this is the, um, the gate and it's quite empty here. If you go to the end of it, small, small stone that wasn't found here, but I uh, found very close to here. And it mentioned the uh, 10th legion of the Roman army. And some people say that it's from the 3rd century. And so, but someone who dedicated it to his big boss. So, uh, so this is the, uh, the uh, one of the signs that they left. Um, you know, uh, on the, uh, on, uh, you know, one of the ho hotel courtyard, you know, that uh, they believe this is the 10th legion's, um, you know, uh, marker that they show, you know, they were there now. But uh, some people think that this is, this is the first, first century, not, not the, 
not the time, you know, at 80, 70, you know, that might be true. Yeah, but in other words, the 10th legion now, for, for real, you know, so after three, 300 years later, uh, the 10th legion of the Roman army uh, still, uh, you know, uh, were assigned to, to the uh, land of Israel. Uh, you know, so, so all those are real stuff, you know, that, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know how to explain, but, uh, you know, you, if you think about that, you know, we, uh, the history is real, our God is real, you know. Um, so, uh, now, uh, we, we're going to, uh, uh, talk a little bit about the, uh, before uh, we're going to have the Holy Communion, uh, we're going to talk about, you know, some of the verses, you know, that um, that talk about the law is uh, our healer. The first time, the you know, uh, the law said, I, I, I'm the law that healed thee, is uh, in Exodus 15. And Exodus 15 is after they left Egypt, they crossed the Red Sea, uh, not the little march, you know, but, but the real Aqaba. The, the wide Red Sea. And then, so they cross over and then, you know, uh, before they get to Mount Sinai, there's uh, this uh, promise of the law, you know, 15 verse 26 uh, of Exodus. And um, so I'm going to ask um, Kira read uh, Exodus 15. And then uh, if later on, uh, uh, when possible, you know, he can read Isaiah 4. Uh, can you, Jerah, uh, can you read for us Exodus 15? And said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and wilt give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that heal thee. Okay, thank you, Jorah. I mean, uh, can you read for Isaiah 53? Okay. <clears throat> Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. <clears throat> Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. Now, um, you know, I really, uh, um, you know, uh, enjoy, you know, sharing about this because uh, Exodus 15, uh, 26, uh, we have shared about that uh, last year, uh, sometime last year. And um, this, uh, you know, this is a promise of the Lord for I am the Lord that you did. Now, this is not uh, to the children of Israel only because this is God's word, you know. So all the good things have, you know, uh, you know, it's uh, said in the, uh, God's word, you know, they, they are power, they are power. Now, I want to say this, you know, now, of course, everybody wants to get healed. And then he, the Lord already said, for I am the Lord that healed thee. So, you know, this is good promise, good promise. Uh, however, because in the same words, you know, he's, he said, if thou will uh, hearken to the voice of the Lord God, thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandment and keep all his statutes. Oh boy. Now, so, you know, in other words, uh, this is talking about like you have to fulfill everything, you know, will have uh, obey the com commandments, keep all his statutes. Now, of course, in chapter 15, 10 commandments have not been given yet. Okay, that's one, that's a, that's a good thing. So, you know, there's not much uh, commandments, so to speak, you know. Uh, but still, you know, that seem, you know, seems like, wow, you know, all his statutes and his commandments, you know, uh, you know, uh, there's a condition. So, so how do we get out of that, you know? Well, of course, uh, in the New Testament, the law already said, you know, he had paid for us. He had paid for us. And uh, in fact, I say, uh, you know, surely he had borne out grief. You know, that word grief is actually diseases. You know, the, the modern Hebrew, that grief is actually diseases. And sorrows is suffering. So in other words, his, uh, his uh, work, finished work on the cross is uh, he also have borne not just our sin, 
but also our diseases and 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 our sufferings. Okay, uh, but the King James uh, Committee, you know, they they try to tone it down because they don't believe in healing of the Lord. You know, that's why you know those people die early. But anyway, now, but going back to Exodus 15, I'm going to tell you, and uh, as I told you last year, um, Exodus 15 is um, amazing. Yeah, because Exodus 15, verse 26, uh, is the one that uh, Ger Gerard just read, uh, this word, this, uh, this verse. Uh, actually, in the ancient Hebrew, in the original, um, you know, Hebrew language, the Bible, actually, there's no comma, no comma. In other words, those comma are added by the translator, you know, added by the translator. Those are original Hebrew have no comma. 1526, there's no comma at all, except the last uh, double dot. At the end of the verse, okay. So that, that's an indicator for the verse, but there's no comma. See that? No comma. So well, what's that mean? Well, it means that you know, the King James were written for the Old Testament believers, Old Covenant believers. That if you believe in Ten Commandments, then uh, those comma are for you. You have to practice all the practice all law. <laughs> You have to give ear to the commandments and then keep all the statutes. You have to in old covenant. But actually, in the new new covenant, because the uh, original language have no comma. So if you put the comma over here, if you will diligently hearken to the voice of the law, which is what we're doing, we're, we're studying the Bible, we are listening to God's word, we are talking about you know the power of God's word. You know? You know, and, and so we hearken, you know, because faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God, you know. So we, we diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord and then put the comma here. Then thy God will do that which is right in the sight and he will do it for you. Yeah, Jesus did it. Jesus is God. So thy God will do it for us. He will keep all the commandment for us. He will keep all the statue. And then... Also, our God will put none of the disease upon us, which is what happened. Because uh, you, if you believe, if you understand that God's word is full of grace, but you, know, you have to understand how. <laughs> so, so in other words, um, um, you know, this, this is uh, the, the thing. You know, the law is the healer. And then, you know, uh, by uh, Isaiah 53, we know, and then all the other uh, uh, places also. So uh, because of that, you know, we're going to just uh, have the communion now, okay? okay. Uh, yeah, because uh, we, you know, I mean, there are so, so much good things, um, you know, but, uh, you know, we're going to have the communion now. And uh, so we're going to hold up the bread, the peace, uh, Lord Jesus, and Thank you. Thank you for your God's word uh, for us and for everyone that hear at the sound of my voice that Lord Jesus, you have done it for us. You have paid for all the sin and sickness and uh, by your strike we are healed. And even our pain and sufferings, Lord Jesus, because of that, as we are in heaven, so are we in this world. We are already one with you. And you are in us, and we are in you. Thank you. You are our shepherd, and uh, we hear your voice because of you that uh, we can call our Father, our, our Father, uh, in heaven. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Um, and we partake your body. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Lord Jesus, um, just thank you, thank you, because uh, you are full of love, and you done it. You come on earth as a willing sacrifice, and uh, you take it, you know, by your own obedience for us, and it's by your faith that uh, you bestow on us 
this righteousness. You cleanse us with the, thy blood. And by your blood, uh, as a new covenant, that you forget, uh, you'll remember our sins no more. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that uh, we have the righteousness of God in Christ. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, so we're going to have a closing prayer. <laughs> Lord Jesus, I'm just thankful that uh, in the new year, and uh, this is our first uh, English Bible study, that uh, we come together in your name, and uh, we're reading your word, and uh, we, we understand, we know that uh, you have prepared a new heaven and new earth for us for the eternity. And thank you, Lord Jesus, and because uh, you're going to give us a new body, and our life would be transformed because uh, we are new creation. And so every day we come to you and we're thankful and uh, that you, you watch over us every day and bless uh, our families and uh, bless ourselves. And I'm praying for uh, Wayne and Gerard that uh, you bless them and uh, you bless also their families and uh, that uh, you bless them every day uh, this year with uh, healing, protection, provision, and joy and peace, that uh, they look unto you and uh, they have blessing on blessings and glory unto glory. And uh, Lord, I'm also uh, praying for the audience uh, that are listening or watching the video on YouTube and uh, other channels. In the name of Jesus, I bless them. Uh, at the sound of my voice, that uh, you would bless all the audience. Uh, with uh, healing, protection, provision, salvation um, in their life and also in their families. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank uh, you. Happy New Year.